Hi everyone and happy eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio is the sign that re, uh, rules mountain streams and we're right by one. So I hope that you can hear me though. I'm going to keep the camera just a little bit close for that. Um, I'm bringing to you a message for this eclipse, an ascension uh, message, an ascension update. So here's what it is. I'm just going to read it out and if you can see the snow behind me. It started snowing here in Kashmir. I'm in Kashmir. So uh, the theme for this eclipse is the return of spirit. As you know, many mundane astrologers will be talking about themes of death and rebirth, which is ruled by the sign of Scorpio. But what about the higher things and not just, you know, those more challenging type of things? Because for us souls who are consciously on the path of self-mastery, we consciously want to make changes. It's not as if everything goes bad. It's more about um, becoming intimate with life and discovering secrets. That's what Scorpio is all about. You know, you're uncovering the secrets of life. So the return of spirit and feel into whatever this means for you for this eclipse what's happening is the unification of the divine masculine and feminine forces inside of us and this is leading to us moving into the higher octave this is leading to the retrieval of soul wisdom from our tree of life so the particular soul codes that you have and the soul legacy that you carry um, just like these mountains you can see behind me, the water comes from a purer source. It comes from, um, you know, the, the source where it begins, like a glacier or whatever. It's very pure over there and then it flows down to the lower realms um, and becomes something beautiful. So that's kind of like how our soul wisdom flows as well. That's what we are, um, you know, at a soul level where this it's, this, it's more about this unification of being one thing. And then it becomes, it diverges into many streams of light and then that's what you are when you manifest in a physical human body so what is that path for you um, that path is being traced right now you're discovering secrets about your soul lineage and therefore your soul mission you know what you're here to do so you were born on this planet with a mission it starts to feel like finally things are easy like things are coming your way and falling on your path it feels like the return of spirit in our lives. Simplicity, grace, trusting the singularity helps you. So does being in nature, which is what I'm doing. You know, um, I haven't had any, um, felt any inspiration for a really long time. I haven't made a YouTube video in really long. Um, and now that I'm here in nature, it's feeling very different. So I would advise all of you also to get out into nature because that's where all the pure soul codes, codes flow. So trusting the singularity helps you, so does being in nature, to retrieve ancient codes from the ancestors about your path. That's it. That's the message for our eclipse. I hope you enjoy this view. This is Kashmir. You can see the, there's these mountains behind me of different kinds. Thank you so much for watching and please check out my website enlightenmentcourses.com for all kinds of personal services if you'd like to accelerate your path. Um, I'll probably be making more videos as I'm in Kashmir so stay, stay tuned on my Instagram and YouTube channels. Thank you.